What's up everybody? So today we're over here on our Heller HF5500 and we're gonna show you one of the parts that we ran during Boombastic 2024. Now today we're gonna to be using our Core 5 end mill and we're gonna be running it at 30 thou per tooth. And for you metric people, that's almost a millimeter per tooth. So that's gonna put us at about 2,000 inches a minute. So this whole part is only gonna take us about 25 minutes to get done. Something I wanna point out is that with the tooling that we have in this machine, we've already run about 16 parts. So we're gonna get this part out of here and get a new piece of stock in, and then we're gonna start making some chips. All right, time to get the chips off of our vices, but safety first. We need to make metal lighter. It's so heavy. Lock it down. All right, we are cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Send it. Alright, let's make some chips. Now if you're watching this, you may wonder why I didn't take my face mill left to right because it would have been faster. I'm going up and down because if my stock is shifted over an inch or so, then my face mill is going to hit my trunnion and we don't want that. The very next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our one inch go tip drill and we're gonna pre-drill each of the pockets for a starter hole for our end mill. If you guys wanna make beautiful parts like these in your own shop faster than you ever have before, head on over to our online store where we carry all of the tools that you've seen in this video and you'll get the best prices out there. Now for our roughing of the profile, we're using our Core 5 end mill, we're cutting about two inches deep and we're only stepping over 30 thou, so we may have actually been able to get a better material removal rate by increasing our step over, but this demo was really about speed. Now, my very next tool path comes in and cuts these two corners of our stock off, and the reason that I had to do that was because I knew that I was gonna have to come in and drill a hole and cut a slot, and my holder was gonna actually hit the remaining stock on the bottom of the part. So if you look here, you can see that the drill holder would have clipped my stock. And you can also see that while machining this slot, my holder was gonna be dragging across the corner of the stock. So we removed that material, that way we didn't have any crashes and we were able to just continue machining our part later. Now when I came in to do all the pockets, all I had to do was select the same holes that I had already pre-drilled as my entry regions for my dynamic toolpath. This way I didn't have to waste time ramping with the end mill. Now when we roughed the outside profile of this part, we were running at 2,000 inches a minute. But for the pockets, I knew we weren't going to be able to hit that feed rate, so I programmed them at 1,000 inches a minute and it was really actually pretty impressive that the machine was able to hit 1,000 a few times throughout those pockets. So you see that? We're in like a four inch pocket that's like a hundred millimeters and we're almost hitting a thousand inches a minute which is faster than a lot of machines can wrap it. Alright, so check this bad boy out. Total cycle time was about 30 minutes. We used the same tool to finish with that we did the rough with and the finishes came out looking pretty good. Now if you missed this demo at Boombastic 2024, make sure you catch Boombastic 2025 because we're going to be taking things to the next level. See you guys there.